Hello everybody, welcome to Being Civil. It is the fifth video of the series OpenStat with Excel VBA. In the previous four videos, we have learned how to analyze a stat file, how to get the selected beams, how to get the length of the selected beams, and in the last video, we have learned how to get the selected nodes. In this video, we will learn how to write down a code to get the coordinates of the selected node. You see, in the stat, four number of nodes is selected. If you click this button, all the node number with its coordinates will be here in Excel sheet. So, we will write down this code. In the first step, we will write basic code to get coordinates of a single node. So, let's start. Go to Excel Developer tab and click on Visual Basic. Let's create a sub procedure get coordinates. You can name anything you want. We have, have to write down code in between these lines. So we have to follow three steps. Number one is the declared variables. Number two, the get coordinates. And number three, printing those values in Excel. So first, declared variable. We have to declare four variables. Number one is node, which will be long type, and x, y, z coordinate, which will be a double type. The OpenStat function to get the coordinates of a node is the object OpenStat, your OpenStat object dot geometry dot get node coordinates. Then you have to pass the node number and three variables x, y, z. So let's first assign some value to this variable node. Say it's 19. In our case, this is uh, 19. So we have to print these values x, y, z. I want to print this here. That's all. If you run this code now, you see the node number and the coordinates is here. Say change this uh, node to 21. If you run this code, the coordinate will be here. So at this stage, the basic steps is complete. If I want to get the coordinates of a selected node, then we have to modify our code. In the previous video, we have learned how to get all the selected nodes. So we will modify that code only. So this is our code. We'll modify this. So we have to declare the variables, extra variables for the coordinates. Now at this stage, when the selected nodes numbers is greater than zero, then we have to do a loop, for loop. And in this for loop, we have to get the coordinates. So the formula is, this copy from here and paste it here and instead of node you have to pass this node within bracket i minus one that's all now we have to print the coordinates so we have completed our code Let's now run this code. You see, all the nodes with these coordinates are here. Hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up, share with your friends. See you in the next video.